Where are we going now? Uh, we're, we're, we are learning all about uh, oh, yeah. flying and things that fly. Heavy <laughs> objects that are in the sky, Jill, at the Art Smith Aero Center. And how to put together things that fly. That's what we're talking about here next. I'm being joined by Mark, who's an instructor, and Ethan, who's a student here. Okay, so what takes place in this classroom here, Mark? Okay, basically, when you look at an aircraft that's made of metal, we teach the guys here that when you cut the skin and the supporting structure under the skin that gives it the strength and shape, it gets damaged. I teach the guys how to fix that damage. Okay, so you're basically constructing airplanes and repairing them. You, basically, yeah, repairing or constructing. Uh, there are companies here in Calgary, like Viking, that are building uh, the, the Dash 8. Yeah, you'd be trained to work on building an aircraft or maintenance on an aircraft. If an aircraft gets damaged, say it coming into Calgary and it hits a duck, yeah. and the duck makes a hole this big in the leading edge, I teach the guys how to fix that type of thing. Whoa. But it's not always glory. A lot of it, too, like your Ford, Chevy, Toyota in the parking lot, it rusts. These aircraft corrode. They basically want to go back to what they were naturally. We have to stop the corrosion. The aircraft, the skins are designed to be a certain thickness. If they get eaten away, they don't have the design strength. So the biggest thing we do, and it's not real glory, is, is stopping the aircraft from corroding to get the beyond its strength, right? Okay. But then you get the glory jobs where it gets damaged, and you get to cut big chunks of metal out and put the pieces back in. Sounds right? awesome. It's, it's a lot of fun. And artistic, as you were saying. Now, this little thing that I'm holding right here, this is the key to uh, how airplanes are constructed. So this yep. is used in the construction of all These are airplanes. aircraft rivets. There are thousands of them in the air. The aircraft is put together with rivets. We can't weld the aircraft. The aluminum on the aircraft is not weldable. Okay. So it has to be with two pieces of metal go together. Together, the rivet goes through. I'll show you. You're going to show us how Actually, to do this. Actually, Ethan is going to show you. The rivet will go in the hole. Ethan's going to grab a rivet gun and a bucking bar, and he'll show you. He's going to drive it from one side, okay. using a bucking bar on the other to compress it. Now, this is a fine science because everything has to be uniform, right? And yes, it does. Feeling. Yes. Okay, go ahead. It takes a Good while job. to get a feel for it. But in all reality, all of these rivets have to be the same diameter when they're done. The holes are three thousandths of an inch bigger. Okay. So when you drive them, it expands the hole. So we're going to let you try this. Okay. We're I get to get, operate the you gun. You get to go on this side. Thank you. you get to work. Now get a feel for the gun. Give a block. Give the block a hit. All right. And put your rear muffs on. Okay. This is awesome. Okay. Now, just now hold it nice and tight to it. Push it in and just hit that tree. Now, don't go looking on the other side of the fence. Okay. Stay on this side. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Go for it. My first rivet. There you go. Stop right there. We'll take a look at it. That's not bad at all. Let's try one. Let's see if you can make a twin. Okay. That's the key here. Let's go over here. Let's see if I pass the test okay, here. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we're going to fly on this or not. Okay. okay. Stop right there. Now, he's a little bit flat. flat. All right, not bad. It takes a while. It takes a while to get a feel it for does. It really does. making everything uniform. They have to be, yeah. All right, so I didn't quite make the grade. No, but a little bit longer. You sign up for the course, we'll teach you how to do it. All right. And, and talking about the course, the one nice thing about this program is it's, it, no one knows about it. When I started off, I became an aircraft mechanic, and then I realized there were structures guys, engine guys, propeller guys. Got in the metal end of it, and moms and dads like this, because this course is only one year. Right. So it's half the tuition, half the time. Ethan gets out of here in one year. He's making the same money as everybody else that's Stop doing two. Races. There is an info session here tomorrow, yes, 6 30 p.m. If you're interested, thanks. We'll very have much, you guys. riveting here too. So you got it. Great. Tara? Very cool stuff they're doing there. That is cool. I remember riveting in shop class when I was much younger. There you go. 